come to my channel. I want your friend. So what you see right here, all this light on the shaker up there, behind the grill, behind the lower grill, under glow, and the demonite inside the headlight. So in this video, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, it might not be the, uh, it might not be a step-by-step -step, uh, video on how to do this stuff, but at least you're gonna know most of the stuff, how to get it done. So one of the stuff that I didn't mention on the video is running the wire through the, through the tire here on top of the tire. So what I did, I, once I took those two lower bolts right there, those two little screw, seven millimeter, I believe it was, uh, you fish the line to the top right here. And then since you're gonna have your bumper off, well, that's only if, you, if you're removing the bumper to do, you know, everything at once. But if you're only doing the, the underglow, so you fish it through, and you're gonna get it through there. So what I used it to fish it through was a, a big zip tie. You know, you put tape around here with a, you know, your wire and then you bring it through. So you don't have to remove the whole shoe, uh, plastic water shoe right there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. This is not an easy job, I'll tell you that for, uh, since the beginning. So if you don't have any experience uh, working on cars, this might not be an easy one. All right, so, but you can do it. So enjoy the video and like always, make sure at the end you subscribe, like, and share. to install some evil eye over here demonize those are oh, wrong one those are gonna be no This is gonna go inside your lamp, right on top of your projector inside. So I gotta remove those lights, open them up, and then install this on, on top inside. All right, so that's the plan. So removing the bumper is not that hard. It's hold by three 10 millimeters, one on the very top right here, one that you access from under, and one right on the edge of the bumper right here, 10 millimeter. Once you remove those, uh, those plastic tops, or this one right here, this, in order to push them out, you gotta, you gotta push in first, so this thing can go in and then you'll be able to slide it out. All right, so you remove the under tray right there and that one, the two 10 millimeters and the whole bumper comes out. Make sure you unplug the connector for the fog lights over here. Connector right there. Okay, so that's for your, that's for your fog light. You should connect right here. Okay, so now we have access to the 10 millimeter bolts right there. Two on the bottom, one on the top, and the whole headlight should come out. And then we gotta open it. The other 10 millimeter that you get is right here from the inside corner, which is that one right there, the bolt. You remove, remove the 10 millimeters. Then you unhook it here first on both sides, up to here. You unhook it, and then you pull it out straight, and that's how it comes out. 
That lights are out. I know I told you those three bolts, 10 millimeter, they're not, they're uh, eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Those three bolts, eight millimeter. And then you pull the light, it's held by a clip right here. So you gotta pull. Let's see, make sure you hold it, pull it out straight. All right, let's see if we can open these headlights under two minutes. So here I'm gonna show you the one already open and the one over here is still not open. So I'm gonna just sit right here. So this one, I already opened this one. Well, I just removed the front lens. I still gotta, you know, open all that to do whatever I gotta do on, do on it. So I'm gonna set this one on the side. I'm gonna grab the one we're gonna open. All right, so all I'm gonna use is a flat head and a torch, okay? So I'm gonna hit it around, all the way around. You're not gonna hit on the glass or the plastic uh, clear here. You're just gonna hit it from the back on the black uh, part right here. When you see it to start like getting uh, shiny, uh, keep moving, don't stay right there. So that's one time I'm gonna go around one more time to make it two, two laps. All right, so that's two right there. So now <clears throat> pay attention which 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 is the top of course hello hello all right so sorry about that so we're gonna start from the bottom pay attention what's the top we're gonna start on the bottom we're gonna leave the top for last there's tabs, so there's uh, six tab total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure as you go, make sure you pick them up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start here, right there. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick this right in here. Right in here. And I'm just gonna wiggle it. That's how you open it. Uh, just remember before you glue it back, you gotta remove all this old silicone. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use silicone when I uh, when I glue it. I'm gonna use a special glue made for headlights. That way, whenever 
if we have to open this again in the future, it will open a lot easier. Because the glue was, uh, it will stretch with the heat. All right, so this is the little Nemonai. Comes like that. And, with, and it comes with a little bracket. So uh, if you try to, you know, line them up somewhere here and it doesn't line up, this is what I did. I removed that and then I drew my own hole right here on the very top. That's gonna be the very top of the headlight because that's where you want it. You want it to be on the very top right there. You see right there? Okay. So on the very top like that, drill one little hole. Uh, so make sure you use a drill bit to drill it. Then you screw it, make sure you hold it. Don't don't let it spin, you know, around and, and damage it. So right there is really stiff. So now I will drill one hole back there to bring bring the wire through. So that hole, I'm going to bring it on the bottom, like right on, right under the cap. So I can just uh, put some silicone right there. And that's how it's going to go. Make sure you test everything before you close the actual headlight. All right. All right, so let's do it. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing there, or what I'm gonna do. So, <clears throat> so we already removed this front piece, the glass. I'm gonna just lift that off. All right, I'm gonna set it here on the side. Now I'm gonna get seven millimeter socket. Six bolts out. I'm gonna lift this up. Remember this is the top. Always remember what's the top. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up slowly. And I'm gonna flip it down here. Be careful not to put any fingerprints on the actual lens right here. And then I'm gonna press this tab right here two tabs right here, I'm gonna press that, wiggle the wire out, okay. Now I'm gonna set this over here, I'll put the glass over so we don't collect any dust. <clears throat> so now I got my T20, I'm gonna remove three bolts Always remember what's the top, okay? So that's gonna be the top right there. So three bolts, one right here. This one, and it's gonna be two on this side. That's two. That's three. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift it up right here. Kind of wiggle it out a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna set this like that, I'm gonna get my LED that's gonna go right on top. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this little plastic because it's not gonna work. Okay, remove that completely. Now I get a smoke bit. Okay. 
Got a small bit right here. And I'm going to drill a hole. So this is what you want. You want to put this right in the center, facing down. The little LED needs to be facing down. Okay. So you can either go here to the right or you can go to the left. So in this case, I'm gonna go to the left. Go to the left right there. I'm gonna just mark it for now. So I know where to drill. Then I will hold it straight and drill the hole. some air and I'm gonna blow that away like that okay so now I get my own screw because the one that I took out is way too small so I got a little little bit bigger Now remember, you gotta hold the LED. Don't let it, you know, move when you're putting the screw in. So first I'm gonna bring the screw through the hole right here. Okay, now I'm gonna line them up. in the center okay so now we take the cap the rear cap here off so I can bring the wire through then I'm gonna drill another hole on the side and then fix it right there now I'm gonna also show you something that I'm gonna do before we put it in through the hole Get the three seven millimeter. Hello, let me see it. Put it back where it goes. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna measure the wire and I'm gonna get a, a little bit extra inside. And I'm gonna take the wire and make like a knot. So that will be to stop the wire from coming out and break it from the headlight, from the actual LED. Make that little knot right there. Now I'll get my drill. I'm gonna drill a little hole right here. And I get the wire. I'll bring the wire through the little hole. Here. 
see as I pull it, it stopped right there. So after I get everything ready, I'm gonna put some uh, silicone right there to close that hole right there. I'll probably do a little bit from the inside and then a little bit from the outside. And then so now I can blow the light again. sure none of the wires are blocking the length. I'm gonna get the seven millimeter bolts. got the app adding some LED for the grill I'm also gonna add some on the hood So the LED, I got two right here sitting on the support, one in the center, two right there, and I got three down here, staying away here because on the bumper, there is a metal uh, plastic piece that's going to go here, so can't go past that, plus the bumper right here is the fog light, so the grill only from here to this other notch, so I got three right there, one, two and three and then all the wires uh, you can just tuck it in there the bumper is gonna go above it's gonna cover that right there and then all you're gonna see is the grill yeah it's coming our little update on the led that i show you here remember i show you this one on the top and then I'll show you the other ones on the bottom here. All right, so right here, it's not gonna work because of the the grill, it comes in an angle, this, the lower grill. So we gotta put it on the rail right here, the metal rail, the front radiator support. Well, you don't call it radiator support. This is the front bumper support. All right, so just uh, put it on right there. That way it can float free for the lower grill. So it's gonna be right in the center instead of being back there. All right. So let's see. So let's see. Well, let's do it right here. Let me put the bumper on and see how it looks.
see how it looks now. I'm talking about. See, that look good right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. I like it. very bright so the ones on the top they're lighting up from the under and then the ones on the bottom is, is lighting up from the top see how beautiful it's beautiful Let me finish the rest. I gotta do the underglow as well. She's still got a lot of work. All right, let's see how we got the light set up over here in the bottom. Hold on a second. So I got it like that. Then I put some, I mean, this already come with a 3M glue, but still I don't trust that, so. Put that and over here, and put it here, holding the wire and the light. Just like that.
Nope. All right, so for the shaker up here, there's a drain on each side. So I'm gonna run it through this drain right here, uh, but I'm gonna leave it loose. So, you know, every time they do an oil change, this top piece needs to come off, which is that right there. So I glued the LED and then I took the black silicone and I run a bit on both sides because there's going to be a lot of heat here so that way you know for sure as you saw me do uh do i did that on the bottom of all the lights under so when that glue give up you know when the how and the hot weather you know for sure that your led is not going to be hanging down so that's why i put the the black silicone all right, so now we just gotta put this on and I tuck all the wire in there and I put some more silicone in there so it doesn't, doesn't move. So this wire is gonna stay loose uh, in that drain. Okay. So that should be just like that. This is, we just want to stick it in here. That's it. And then we're just going to connect it <clears throat> to the connection here. So this wire, like I said, this wire is going to stay. Uh, so whenever they do oil change, they don't have to, you know, unhook it or anything. Just lift this off set her on the side so you can get to the the filler neck right here for the engine that's about it all right so let me go ahead and hook all that up and put everything on and then test everything out everything should be ready to go my power connected Got the power right there. I got the ground right there. Then I put a fuse, 7.5 7 fuse on that cable. Then I got the three little box for the, to connect the Bluetooth over here. Then I zip tie all the wires. Now I just gotta put those covers Right there. And then like I said before, uh this wire I'ma put a see I'ma put a temporary uh 
zip tie here and I'm gonna just tell the owner that every time they do oil change they gotta remove that so they can have a slack on the on the wire so they can be able to pull that out. Alright though let's see let's see if we can turn them on. Alright, so remember I show you these clips that we removed, those are one time use. So, you know, to pop them out, all you do, you get a small screwdriver and you push it right in the hole just to get it out. And then you can't reuse them, those are one time use. So those are rivets, plastic rivets. So go to Harbor Frey and you can buy yourself a kit. Uh, the only thing is you're gonna have to have your tire off in order to put this so i already put the tire on so i'm gonna do it by hand i'm gonna show you how to do it with a plier and a flathead so here i'm gonna grab one of these i'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do it okay so we'll come over here and set it in the hole Tire is on my way, so that already broke. Let me see if I can turn the tire a little bit more to the inside, or if I have to lift it up. All right, so here we are again. So right here, you can use the gun because you got room, but this one, I don't think we can use the gun. So that's why I'm going to show you how to do it. How to do it by hand uh you know with basic tools so let me set this over here all right all right so I'm gonna stick it in there all the way in right and you get your plier and you're gonna lock it right there and you're gonna stick your flat head right behind it then you're gonna twist, twist this up like that. <clears throat> so you're using the flathead to hold it in, and so you have a place to to press the screwdriver. I mean the the vice grip. So you'll be able to spin it like this, and it's just gonna snap. snap in a different spot and just do it again okay. here we go like that see that's how it is now that look good that's how it's supposed to look Side. and then we're done all right so this side look like I, I got enough room so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna stick the ribbon in there I'm gonna find a hole push it in putting pressure in we're gonna squish this and this is what this is what it does so let me show you before I put it in there. See as I press, see it pull it in and it break and it, sna it will snap once it reach a stop. Put it in there. Now we're gonna squish it. snap right there get another one
supposed to look perfect perfecto all right so now it's time to test test the light make sure everything work That said, this is the end of the video. So, like always, <clears throat> please subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Blah, 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 blah.